You can brew kombucha for just pennies. Here's how I feed my starter for a continuous brew. I left about one liter of kombucha in the fermentation vessel as my starter, but you should keep at least 500 milliliters for a four liter vessel. I'm adding six tea bags to my brewing vessel with another one liter of boiling water and steeping for 10 minutes, then removing the bags. While the tea is hot, add 150 grams of sugar and stir to dissolve. That's 5% of the total liquid being added. Using accurate percentages is crucial for continuous brewing, as adding too much sugar can cause inconsistent results and the concentration of organic acids can build up over time. To prevent stressing your SCOBY, cool the tea below 30 degrees Celsius, that's 86 Fahrenheit, before topping it up. And make sure to use the same tea as previous brews, but I'll cover how to transition to a new tea variety later. Once the tea is cooled, add it to the fermentation vessel, followed by about two liters of water. You'll have another batch of kombucha in no time. That's all for today. I'll share the final brewing results soon. Cheers.